Hey, what's up, YouTube? HBIC or Mexicans 4666. I wanted to show you guys a clip from the Yu Gi Oh! World Championships in Europe. Go check out their YouTube channel or their Twitch stream right now, the official Yu Gi Oh! trading card game. I do believe that's it. And their YouTube channel is Yu Gi Oh! TCG EU. They pretty much said a Yu Gi Tuber will probably record this. And since I'm back into Yu Gi Tubing now, I wanted to go over this round 11 feature match with. True Dragos versus Magician Zodiacs. I hate to say this. I might have to play Zodiacs in my Magician build. I have never touched Zoo. And that means I need to get me three barriers, one or two tridents, and a bull. So let's take a look at this. Because I saw this match. I came into round one a little late. So the guy is also playing Upstar Goblin. Shout outs to you playing Upstar. A lot of people don't like Upstar anymore. I personally still like the card. But uh, from watching this, I think this player has the most interesting build out of all the decks I have seen. Even though he's not playing Zark, but it doesn't hurt to, to play at least one Zark. You know, because Zark is everything. So let's go over this matchup and you'll see what I'm talking about when you see this guy's end game. His field. He summoned Rat. I should have fast forwarded this, so this is going to be about a 10 minute video. So hopefully you guys enjoy these type of things and want me to do more clips like this. Marvin, like I said, summon the rat. What are you going to do? I think you're going to go into bull. Or what's it? No, boar. Excuse me. You're going to go into a boar. And then he's going to go into tiger. No, then he's going to go into bull. See, I'm still getting used to this. He detaches the boar. He's going to activate the effect of that, and just to do believe he gets another rat. No, he get Ram Ram. My bad. Like I said, I didn't see this whole thing through. It's just the end game of this match is what is more important, and so the power of Magicians. Well, most importantly, the more power of Zodiacs thrown into this guy. I don't think you can do this without Zodiacs, so keep watching, and you will see what I'm talking about. Even though everybody says Zodiac is cancer. Let's see. Then he went into Tiger and Dragon, pretty much. Now he can pop three times. Now he's going to make Iris Magician or Double Iris Magician. I don't understand why they had to change his name. I like the Iris. Then he played Duelist Alliance. I do believe he gets Star Pendulum Graph. From this, show me if I'm right. Yes. He's thinking about something. What is he thinking about? Okay, yeah, we also know he has Masterpiece in his hand. Okay, he's going, okay, yeah, he's going to do the play. He's going to get ready to use Dryden's effect to pop Double Iris Magician and get Double Iris Magician effect and also print it. Also start up Star Pendulum Grab. Now start the searching so we can begin to talk about what he's going to do. He also triggers Astrograph Magician. Astrograph Magician is another powerful card which lets you, if this if a card you control is destroyed by a battle or card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then you can choose one monster in the graveyard at your deck or that is banished and that was destroyed this turn. Add one monster with the same name from your deck. So you're going to get another Double Iris Magician to the hand. Plus you're going to get Star Pendulum Grass effect of searching for a 
Magician Pendulum Monster card, which is going to be good. He's getting so much advantage off of this, so I do believe he's going to get Wisdom Eye Magician. But he's going to set Double Iris Magician, set it on the scale, and Wisdom, and trigger Wisdom Eye's effect. And from what the commentator said, he only plays one time Pendulum Graph, which I am concerned with. It's like pops up a red flag to me. Why is Marvin doing that? Personally, I would play two. Unless you're, depending on the build, I would play three. That's just me. Okay, now he's picking up Summon Harmonizing Magician, which I still want to call Tune Magician. And he's also summoning Double Iris Magician. So he's going to activate Harmonizing Magician of the Fact and search for a card. Which is my favorite of the four dragons, Black Fang Dragon. Black Fang Dragon <coughs> is a level four uh, spellcaster penal monster that is always an exceed dragon. Level it got eight scales. Attack is seventeen and defense is eighteen. And his effect is so good. Which is effective. His penal effect is you can target one face of monster your opponent controls. His attack becomes half its current attack until the end of the turn. Or you can use the part of Dark Requiem Dragon's effect. If this card is destroyed by Battle Card Effect, you can target one Dark Spellcaster monster in your graveyard instead of summon it. So it looks like he's going to tune Harmonizing Magician. Well, no, not tune. Exceeds with Double Iris and Harmonizing to make Time Star Magician one of the new cards in the set. And you guys will see how powerful Time Star is momentarily. Because I think this clip is almost over for what I wanted to talk about, and it is. You guys got another seven minutes of hearing me talk, so bear with me with this, please. So let's see. He's going to use Time Star Magician Effect. I do believe he gets another Astrograph, I think. I think, I think it was Astrograph, but I can't tell what it is. So his hand is uh, still the Zodiac Trident, Star Pendulum, Astrograph, and some other things. Okay, you're going to use Trident's effect. Or no, you're going to use one of the other effects to get a Ram Ram. Ram Ram and... Was that Tiger? I can't tell what he used. He used one of the Exceeds effects to get, to get Tornado Dragon. Tornado Dragon is going to destroy Double Iris Magician and trigger Double Iris Magician's effect. So he, this time he's going to get the lovely Time Petal of Graph. And this is where the play gets so good, y'all. You do not believe how good this play is. He's going to get another... What did he get? He should have got... No, I think this time he, he already searched the whatchamacallit. This time he's going to get another... Star Pendulum and Eagle Summon Astrograph Magician and get another Double Iris Magician, which is so good. Wait for it. Wait for it. <clears throat> Wait for what he's about to do. It gets so hot what he's about to do right now. This play is too good. Come on, show me the play. Now he plays another star pendulum graph. Let me that thing about it. You can only use this effect of star pendulum graph once per turn. Now he's going to overlay both astral graph sources since they served a purpose to make odd eyes absolute. Dragon, and he also he has the lovely Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon in his Etcher deck as soon as Absolute Dragon gets destroyed, which is really, really good. Now his field is Time Star, Dryad, Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, Tornado Dragon, two Star Pendulum Grass, one Time Pendulum Grass, a Black Fang in the scale, and an Oath Dragon. That field is crazy. His opponent has Card Demise, True Draco, H, 
uh, diagram terraforming masterpiece. So let's see how this works out for him. All right, he does terraforming to do try it, but that didn't work because he just popped the diagram. Now he plays another diagram because you don't want them to start that stuff. You want to pop all the time. Now Dritus effect is going to trigger, and he's going to pop that. Now he can't do much of anything. Now Martin has one more pop left. He has his time star pendulum graph down, but you also see he got time magician, time star magician out. So watch how this plays out, ladies and gentlemen. Because this is so pro. Okay, now he has, he plays, the other guy plays Cosmic Cyclone to pop his face down. But watch what he does. This is going to be so good because of the lovely time pendulum graph. He's going to activate time pendulum graph, target Black Bang and Cosmic Cyclone, but then he's going to use Time Star Magician to prevent the destruction of Black Bang so he can send a card to the graveyard. I do believe he sends Purple Poison Magician to the graveyard. Yes, he does. Purple Poison Magician to the graveyard. And since both cards did not get destroyed because of Time Pendulum Graph's effect, it says you can target one Magician Pendulum card in your Monster Zone or Pendulum in one card, destroy them both. Then if this effect does not destroy a card, you can send one card on the field to the graveyard. So he sends Absolute Dragon to the graveyard, everybody. And he's going to get a Vortex Dragon. So he has another way to protect himself. So his field is now Time Star, Dryad, Vortex Dragon, Tornado Dragon. And he has the one extra protection left. And I do believe the other guy's hand is pretty much shot. He can't do anything else to this. He popped two of your diagrams, countered your Cosmic Cyclone. And now, when you think he didn't have nothing else, he has a Vortex Dragon. That's why you're trying to read it real quick, because you know he's going to negate your stuff. He got things in the extra deck. To put back into his deck because of that, he's going to set one card and play card of demise. And I do believe he's going to negate that because I know hell I would negate that. Negate that card of demise because his hand is card of demise, true Drago Age, and masterpiece. Negate. Negate. He needs to negate that like ASAP. Yep, he's going to negate it using Vortex Dragon to put Wisdom Eye back into the deck. That is literally a game, everybody. I just wanted to go over that. Let me pause this. I just wanted to go over that clip in the match. If you guys do not understand the power of magicians, they are a thing. Mixed with Zodiacs, I hate to say it, it makes the deck more broken. But I don't know if he's, I think if he's playing Ram Ram, I saw in there, he has to be playing Barrages. Most likely, I'm going to have to pick this stuff up before Nationals if I play it. But I still need to get Ghost Ashes. But tell me in the comments below what you guys think of what you just saw. Wasn't that play broken itself? If you guys want me to do more recap plays like this, like I said, I am back to Yugi tubing. Let me know in the comments below. If you missed my last video showing off a fun deck using the Magician. Like I said, it's a fun deck. Not serious because I was playing Supreme King stuff in there. Go check out that video and I'll see you guys next time. Catch me if you can.